Hey, this is Nicky and back tonight. It's not like Ubuntu Studio, Puppy Edition 2.1. I don't know about the name legally, how they get away with that one, but we'll come back to that maybe another time. So we'll do, we'll give a quick look round for you. So, Jack, checking your body. That's pretty good. Hydro for breathing. Hydro for ordering. What does he see? Reaper, Reaper. Not good. Pay one. Gimp, open shot. Yes, it does work. So, okay. File system. Normal puppy stuff. Got your console. Burning utility. VLC mount setup. Install browse and quick pet as well. Also, get up to menu. This is where this pup actually gives all its stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. There's loads and loads and loads of stuff in multimedia, as you can see. Not just stuff on the desktop, but other stuff. Like Bat Charge. I don't even know what that is. Hey, blimey. New for me. You get a virtual MIDI keyboard too, a synthesizer software, and pup radio, which comes from pup anyway. No, no big deal there, is it? But no screen recording capture software. No good for me, is it? So I downloaded some, as you do. But I've got a terminal one. So I have to type in Exford Cap. Hit the enter button, and there we have it. Exford Cap for recording your screencast, if you really want to. Bear in mind, if you're an older machine, don't try and do it more than 10 or 12, because it'll just go bang, basically. You just don't want to play ball. So yeah, let's have it. Okay, let's go for it. Hydrogen. Yes, we know we can breathe it and burn it. But it also plays drums for us. I've done videos on this before, but I'll just give you a quick look through on it. So we're going to do, do our bass drum, like a kick, which is the kick drum as they call it here. Obviously not English. Okay. Okay, we'll do a snare jazz and just pop it there. And basically, all you're doing is making like, rhythm patterns for your drum beats for the next number one song in your country of choice. Plays back for you. You can save it. You get your vocals and your bass and whatever else you want to afterwards. So it's super duper, isn't it? Super duper. Plenty there as standard, so that's cool. But we'll just go with that. Okay, next one we're going to do is Jack. Now, when I'm not recording, it works fine. As soon as I start recording, it goes, No, I don't want to play ball. But on the whole, if you're not going to record at the same time, Jack does work. That's not a problem. And I did put the extras in, by the way before anybody says. Okay, next on the list is Ardour. Ardour. Oh, 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 oh. Works fine. That's what it says on the tin. Never use Ardour. Should I do a screencast on it? Maybe. But do remember to put your sound card in and all your bits and bobs that you need to. Otherwise that just ain't going to work, is it? Yeah, of course it ain't. Ain't going to work. Next, Audacity. Works perfectly. I've used it on pup for the past ooh, at least two years. No bleeding problem. Reaper, on the other hand, is a pay for. You know I don't like the pay thing. Why should I? And to prove it, it's really laggy and very, 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 very. I lick my lips very slow. It even says I've used it for three days. But that's obviously somebody who made the build. You know what I mean? So I'm still evaluating it. Uh, it's not a program of my choice, really. I wouldn't use it personally. But hey, it's there if you want to use it, and if you want to pay for it, it's down to you. No big deal. So we'll come out of that, and that's gone. Now, Gimpy on the other hand, oh, it's like a dream come true. Gimpy works perfectly. I'll take a lot of photographs. I like to do a lot of manipulating when I get time, that is. Because doing this sort of stuff, you don't get a lot of time. Open shot. Yes, it does work. Yeah. Do you want to see? Let's have a look. We'll click on open shot. There we go. Super duper fast, that was. I like my file system. Now, this is something I caught off Exford Cap a little bit earlier. As you can see, so this is an install system. It's not live CD. It's an install system. I know we've got a little square over there. It's a bit of a pain like the bum. But as soon as you put it into the timeline, it goes. That's super. I'm going to drag it up a little bit. We'll click play, and there we go. That's what I captured a little bit earlier with Exford Cap on Puppy, or sorry, Ubuntu Studio Puppy Edition 2.1. There's the usual controls of seat back, previous barkers, seat backwards, etc. etc. 
all the same as if you used before if you've used open shop now sneaky kid loves open shop he uses it for his um xbox thing he does xbox stuff i don't know i don't know he does videos on xbox and he loves it and it actually crashed on Ubuntu the other night and he's in big tears and all this sort of stuff so anyway we get all our effects all there in puppy because it is basically puppy yes i know it's losing lucid puppy but it is pup at the end of the day so super bleeding cool really i don't want to save that because i'm just showing you oh i'm just showing you so anyway where do we go next vlc look at this somebody's really skinned this really 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 nice look at that superb do i get that in bando as well and fedora oh nice i like that really nice skin anyway about me not enough about me browser now if it's all chromium not as i like chromium super duper i still prefer firefox personally but I thought I'd install it from the QuickBit files just to make sure it all works, and it does as the latest version. So if we go back to the menu and internet, then we go up to Firefox browser. As you can see, I get Duck Duck Go. What the bleed now is Duck Duck Go. I suppose I'm going to find out very soon. I I have to look into it. But yeah, it's Firefox. It works, not as fast though. Okay. So next on this is the QuickPet. Now most of these have already installed for you, really. So <coughs> if you've got Lucidpub, you can actually install most of this yourself without having to install Ubuntu Studio. But uh, it all depends what you want to do. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to install a DIA diagram. It's for doing uh, diagrams, really. You know, that you know does uh, graphics and stuff. So we'll download it just to show you that it actually works. In comes out. Okie dokie. Yes, it does. We'll click OK. We'll click OK. We'll click OK. Here it comes. Almost there. We get the tango bar. That's super. Tango bar. Tango bar. It's installing. Basically just installing for us. Making sure it's all okie dokie for us when we want to use it. Now on the whole, Ubuntu Studio isn't for an old computer. You can at least need at least a 1 gig to 1.6 gig machine to use it, and a reasonable amount of RAM. So I'm going to graphics anyway, and show you what I just installed, a DIA diagram, oh, lovely, super, does it all for us, nice, and you can do whatever you want to do with whatever program you want to do. But yes, this is not for the older computers, you can have a, a reasonably new computer. I say that, a couple of years old, you know three four five maybe decent amount of ram and you'll be good to go but if it's 10 years old don't even think about it because it's for graphics and we need lots of ram sneaky linux going out to place it